Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of The Drawing Board. My name is David Franklin and I am your host and thank you for joining us for another installment of our 30 Day Tesseract Dice YouTube series where for 30 days we're talking about the science of our Tesseract Dice on Kickstarter. And today we're going to be talking about our atom bomb, our nuclear explosion and the theory of relativity which was proposed by one Mr. Albert Einstein. And today we're going to be explaining the theory of relativity. Now you've probably heard the theory of relativity. It's basically a symbol of intellectualism the world over. E equals mc squared. But what does it mean? Well, E stands for energy. M stands for mass. And C is the speed of light. So energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. Basically, what this is saying is that matter can be converted into energy. That being said, one tiny little piece of matter times the speed of light squared, which is a massive number, can be turned into energy. So one little tiny piece of matter gets turned into tons and tons of energy, which is why the nuclear bomb was developed. Now I chose to use a nuclear bomb not because he invented it, but because it was a better physical representation of E equals MC squared. Though Albert Einstein himself was a pacifist, he didn't like the idea of an atom bomb. Instead, he'd probably be much more thrilled that his formula was being used in, let's say, nuclear power facilities where we turn very small bits of matter into lots of energy for people to use in their houses. Now that's a very basic description of the theory of relativity and it's still a little bit complicated, but let me see if I can describe it to you in terms of finance. Let's say you have a credit card and every time you use that credit card, you're gonna swipe it and you're gonna get credit card points. And over the year, you're gonna develop more and more credit card points. At the end of the year, you're gonna get a lump sum of money. So let's say that you're gonna have millions upon millions of credit card points that you develop. I know that's not the way the bank actually works, but just stick with me. You're going to have millions and millions of credit card points that's going to be converted into, let's say, $100 or $1,000 at the end of the year, and you're going to get a little gift card for that amount of money. That's sort of the way that the theory of relativity works. Energy is like the credit card points. There are millions and millions of credit card points that are eventually turned into actual money. Now, the credit card points may not actually be money, but lots of them can eventually be turned into money. And theoretically, if you ever wanted to, for some reason, money could be turned into lots and lots of credit card points. Again, not the way that the bank works, but just stick with me. And that's the same way that energy works. You have millions and millions of energy units called joules that are developed by taking a small amount of matter and converting it into energy. And theoretically, you can do it backwards too. Theoretically, you should be able to take lots and lots of energy and turn it into matter. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of The Drawing Board where we took a very complex scientific idea and explained it fairly simply in terms of finance. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is David Franklin. I'm the host of The Drawing Board. And thank you so much for joining us on our 30-day Tesseract Dice campaign where for 30 days we're talking about the science of our Tesseract Dice Kickstarter campaign. And if you want to follow along with our Tesseract Dice campaign or get a further look at some of the dice, you can take a look at the Kickstarter link in the description below. And if you just want to follow along with the science of the show, you can go ahead and hit the blue box in one of those corners over there and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching today's episode and make sure to join us tomorrow when we're going to be talking about one Mr. Sir Isaac Newton. Thank you guys and see you tomorrow.